everybody, Jason Burmis here, and I thought I'd do a video on kind of the lunacy that surrounds this entire Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell debacle, okay? And when I say debacle, I mean that this is an illustration of the highest order of a predator class collectively pissing on the masses and gaslighting us all into believing it's raining. And what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, with Maxwell, with Epstein, with the high level pedophile operation he was running, with connections to intelligence agencies throughout the globe, with connections to royalty, okay, with connections to other members, other than he, just Les Wexner, in the fashion industry. Again and again and again and again, Epstein is connected to these people who have massive resources and have felt no repercussions whatsoever during this entire scandal where the man himself failed to commit suicide the first time. Again, this man was the most high profile, high profile U.S. prisoner of all time. No one more high profile. Nobody. It's not even ballpark. And when you look at somebody like Bill Clinton, who's still walking around, no repercussions, being lauded by the media, doing commercials with Joe Biden and Barack Obama and George Bush. When you think about people like, I don't know, New Mexico, ex-governor. Bill Richardson, walking around, no repercussions. I keep going. Prince Andrew, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. To the extent of what's going on with Maxwell in the case, I will say this. I believe things are being worked out. A lot of this is a show, but she is in t some type of custody. And, you know, to, to say, you know, that she's not, I think, would be incorrect. But at the same time, right, guys? We know that um, with Epstein himself, when he got his sweetheart deal well over a decade ago, he was in and out of the jail as he pleased, it almost seems. He was uh, having liaisons with young girls, according to private investigators who were then following him. And, and the majority of this information was just held from the public, right? Period. So I do want to show the picture because... The other thing that's really weird and twisted about this whole thing is that her brother, her lawyer, are now saying she's being mistreated in prison. I, I, I mean, let's say that's the case. All I'm going to say about that is my heart's not bleeding. My heart's not bleeding if, if somehow Ghislaine Maxwell actually genuinely got that black eye or whatever it is. I mean, it's, you know... I mean, that, who knows? It could be bad Photoshop. I'm not saying it's one thing or the other. Uh, I'm just saying that, you know, I was never one of those guys that harped on um, where's her mugshot. Uh, we've all been super gaslit right now during this whole thing to the point where, you know, we there's not a great media presence at these trials where there should be an overwhelming media presence at these trials. Um, th this telejustice is a bad news of Brown. Remember, you have the right to face your accusers, not virtually, maybe sometimes. Okay. And when I talk about the black guy being on the system, let's talk about Bill Barr. The not your friend kind of guy, the never was going to save you kind of guy, the career CIA guy, the guy that got uh, his license to practice law, passed the bar exam as a CIA agent, a man who openly discussed 
recusing himself from the entire situation because he worked for Kirkland and Ellis, a firm that defended Epstein. All public knowledge, you know, bars the fixer, man. The youngest attorney general of all time under George H.W. Bush. Well, if you've been following my work for any amount of time and you've peeled the veil back on that man, he ain't that great of a person, is he? He's a pretty shady dude, isn't he? He's a career intelligence guy, isn't he? So what did you think's going to happen? This is the black eye on the system, that there is not public outrage right now in the streets all over cities across America due to this trial. Why are we so accepting of this, but we want to believe in, you know, systemic racism in our country, or we want to um, uh, make someone into a hero who is clearly not. When we want to divide a country over skin color, right? Don't you think the trafficking of children, the blackmail of uh, politicians and businessmen, the collaboration with people like Bill Gates, who again, hey, who cares, right? I mean, the man, I mean, talk about a, a, a kick to the groin, a punch to the face, an uppercut to the nutsack. Jeffrey Epstein wanted to turn New Mexico Ranch into a baby-making factory. Now, there's a lot of speculation on what that actually was, but who knows, because they never raided Zorro Ranch. They never raided Zorro Ranch. So, guys... We're going to start taking your questions and your comments. I want to remind everybody that we are fully demonetized here to thumbs the video up. Subscribe and share. And remember to Rockfin, Rockfin, rock that mother trucking Rockfin. If you're not Rockfinning, first of all, you missed me. Uh, oh, excuse me. Going over... Uh, this uh, article right here, because we cannot talk about this. Nope, nope, nope. We can't talk about this on this platform. But that full video is uh, free right there. So basically the last uh, 10, 15 minutes of it, deal with that. We also have an exclusive, almost 30 minutes uh, long, of me joining the gang last night at the uh, Slow News Day Show's 300th episode. And if you are a premium member, we have put up the entire Alex Jones show from 9-11-08, yes, the seventh anniversary. We're about to come up on the 20th, almost 13 years ago. Uh, Alex Jones's live broadcast uh, where he interviews myself uh, and Rob Jacobson down from uh, Ground Zero itself in uh, New York City. And uh, again, talking about how much 9-11 still matters. It still matters. It intertwines with this whole thing. The whole shebango. Same thing with it. I mean... The black eye is continuous on this country. And the, and the manufactured outrage of the people is disturbing. But we had a lot of justified outrage uh, because of 9-11 truth. That again, they, they did their best to not only marginalize, but demonize, and then later co-opt into their little Q program, right? Right? Hmm? Same thing with the Epstein thing. And that's it. They're, they're going to get you start talking about Epstein. You start talking about this ring. Oh, that sounds like some Q stuff. No. Some of us have been talking about it for a very, very long time. So if you're a premium member, uh, you can get that podcast uh, commercial free. It's a good one. And I think Ralph Nader is on there with Alex Jones as well. Uh, a long, long time ago, I've been doing this quite a while. So that's a little treat for the premium members. And again, that's one of the great ways to support me is make that premium membership over at the Rockfin. Uh, I do want to uh, thank people for the tips over at Rockfin. Uh, you can't obviously tip on this because, well, we're fully demonetized here, but let me go through some of them here that I haven't been able to. Um, Mary Erickson says, I have a theory that the cabal actually let Trump win to further their efforts to drive a wedge between the people Racism in particular, in effect, to stir up the hornet's nest. Um, I don't know if it was so much that. I think they played into that card um, because they thought it was an easy target. But 
I, I think that I think that mainly when you look at Trump, right, they knew that they could at least control what was going on in the Middle East. He tried to wrangle them. He wasn't able to do it there. Right, And because of his allegiance to Sheldon Adelson, to Netanyahu, to Israel in particular, they knew that basically their alliance in Eurasia, um, even with the talk on Saudi Arabia, right? It was all hard talk on Saudi Arabia prior, and then he cuts the arms deal, and he does the Yemen stuff. So, you know, again, I, I think, I still think he caught him by storm. I still think a lot of people did not like him, um, but there were those that probably felt like that was enough. And, you know, that, that secured our dominance in this, uh, in this global race for supremacy in a predator class one world order. Karina Berglund, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Mermaid Moxie, uh, she sent me uh, some money for the picnic. I want to thank her for that. Uh, John Martin, thank you so much. Jim Garris says, R-O-K-F-I-N spells free speech. That's right. That's right. It does. Um, Let's see. Uh, Castillo says, I'll take a ribeye for two. LOL. Yeah, we're going to be doing those ribeyes. i got to stop down there and talk to them. Uh, <coughs> Patty, thank you so much for the uh, continued support of the program. Peter, thank you so much. And Cookies, thank you so much. Remember to at least make that free Rockfin account after this to enjoy 90 plus percent of my content. And totally unfiltered, totally uncensored. All you need to do is get an email. All right, Black Eye Club. Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's not, let's not get, let's get, let's not get. Not, everybody's had a black eye. I've had several. <laughs> I don't know if there's any pictures of me floating around with a black eye, but I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to Photoshop one either. I mean, just look at my eyes right now. Like under the right light, the way that's coming down, a little dark. Now you just blew that out. He's damn Burmese and his Black Eye Club. Uh, black eye for the black-eyed soulless shark. No offense to sharks. You wouldn't want to offend sharks there, would you? Looks like someone took her tray. What's happening, Burmese Brigade? What up, Gritch? Uh, lucky like number four, super click party on that thumbs up. Yeah, can we get 100 thumbs up? Can we get 100 thumbs up? And by the way, I don't know that this isn't some kind of fairy tale in the manner that she's being mistreated. Uh, it, it's It's maddening right? The amount of censorship, the amount we don't know, um, the fact they're even talking about those 2,100 pictures, right? And whether they're going to get into the public eye. Can you imagine what they found in that safe? If we found about, about the jewelry, we found out about the money, we found out there were tapes. Okay. And we found out he had a Saudi Arabian passport with a different name that had expired and different addresses. Think about that. Bare minimum, one place, just scratches the surface of what we know. Winter Faye, hi from Australia. Hit that like button, slap it, tap it, lick it, or smack it. Just don't forget them thumbs. Thank you, Gritch. She looks broken. Well, you know what? I can look broken too. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a good actor, but uh, you get it. For a still shot, come on. I, I, I look ridiculous most of the time with my cartoon level face, but what can you do? Oh, break it down. Thank you, Sleepy Willow. Happy Friday, friends. Happy Friday to you, Christine. I hope you are doing well over there on the West Coast. What's up, Eva? How we doing? Good to catch JB live listening uh, in from New Zealand. Good to hear from you, Rebecca. Uh, let's see. Hello, Winter. Oh, sorry. Didn't, do, didn't mean to do that. We're a little too much. We got a picture of Gizlaner. Do well. Do you well. Uh, Kiwi's rule. E e even Rogan is taking heat over the boop boop. Bum bum. Listen, that's the most ridiculous thing ever, but it just shows you how far this has gone. It's gone really far. And that's why we're throwing the maskless... Mother's Day picnic. Bring your ma, bring your grandma, bring your sister. Who's a ma, right? Bring your family. Uh, you know, get the frisbees out. Maybe you, maybe you want to bring a ball. Uh, I'm going to try to bring some bats and some tennis balls, and uh, we're going to try to have a good old time with our families and our friends and our neighbors and our community on Mother's Day. There's going to be free food 
for everybody that shows up that wants it. We're going big. Dogs, burgers. I'm even going to do some veggie kebabs for y'all. Want a veggie kebab? Come on down. Come on down. Because, again, number one, I want to thank you guys because without you, we couldn't do this. Um, uh, number two, I want to encourage all of you, if you can, to do something similar in your neighborhood, in your community. You absolutely have that power. This is not a protest. I don't care how you voted. If you haven't noticed, I'm not big on either party. I'm not big on politicians in general. And even when politicians do good, I point out when they do bad as well. Pretty simple, right? Hey, it, you shouldn't be beholden to like team baseball on issues that affect us all. Sorry. Issue by issue basis. Just like you judge somebody by what they do and what their character is. Not what their public persona is. Not what their image is. Not what you want to believe about them. Not what the chatterboxes are saying. Come on. Come on now. Let's see. Happy Friday, friends. Thank you, Angela, for joining us. Ah, the old Jizzy Laney. He was just a manager of the operation. Yes, I don't believe that he was the mastermind. Happy Great Friday. Hey, Jason, I finally got the live chat. Thanks for all your hard work. Well, thank you, sissy, for joining that live chat. Still, we don't have 100 thumbs. Can we get 100 thumbs? Was he cut off? I don't think so. Was I cut off? Did I jump? Did it jump? Uh, only because they never caught D.B. Cooper. Uh, not on my end. Nope. The black eyes look like makeup. Could be. Could be. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe try that refresh. Yeah. Uh, what'd she get hit with? One knuckle? Who knows? Ghoulish. I had to uh, change my email to continue watching. Very strange. Wow, that's kind of weird. The ugly tree fell on her. <laughs> she looks smirky and smug. No pity for her. Glad's working for you now. You can't tell where she is from, that photo. It's extremely close up, so you can't see the background. That's true, Terry B., but I do want to say this. There have now been victims in the courtroom that say they have seen her. Again, I don't like the masks. I don't like, I don't like telejustice. I don't like any of this. But again, it gives them a great restriction to further hide information from the public. And I was talking about this earlier, but think about the deep fake scenarios, right? Deep fakes are very, very real. Okay, and you can do them in live time. And with the right compression in a video, it would be harder to say that something was or was not a deep fake in real time. That's why, again, you have the right to face your accusers. This whole telejustice system is for the birds. No, even in the, even the education system, we're going to get to a point very soon where sophisticated AI, forget about just deep fakes being controlled by somebody, but fully automated AI could easily impersonate somebody. Why are you still watching this on the YouTube? Come on over to that. Rockfin, Rockfin, Rockfin. Yeah, why are you not watching it over on Rockfin or making that free account over at Rockfinnington? Cookies, big time on the tip. Simon Naylor over there. Gritch over there, of course. Uh, Yashura Solamente. Is there, or no, no, I'm sorry. Sober, Sobermente. You are looking great. Finally losing them that way. I wouldn't go that far. I, I I've got a long way to go. I'm I'm just walking around. I need to I need to do more than walking and talking. I need to be working out and getting out there more and more and more. All right, let's keep doing this. Let's keep going down. Uh, it says 16 watch, and then I join the stream and find over a hundred people. Yeah, we're at 200. Yeah, you know, um, let's just be honest. YouTube really doesn't like to push the Jason Burmis numbers. Um, it's tough to get a no notification. You can you can try to ring that bell. That's why Rockfin. So we're riding two strikes, guys. In fact, we should only be riding one strike because the first strike should have been taken down, but I don't think it has been um, because it's been more than ninety days. And if if we make it now to the thirteenth, we're less than two weeks away. Actually, two weeks from today, where Another strike should be taken off. If that doesn't get taken off, that just lets you know that they they want a piece of the Burmis. And let me just show you what I'm talking about here, so that, so people know how it works. Uh, again, we 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 appealed our channel how long ago, 
And we never got like 13 months. We've been 13, 14 months demonetized, right? And we didn't even get into things. So they're saying active community guideline strikes are two. But if I hit that, the first one came on January 28th. And it's supposed to be uh, 90 days. Now, is it because I didn't appeal it until the 15th of February? But I do want people to see, again, um, this is from February 12th. So on May 12th or 13th, uh, this should expire, period. It should be gone. There it is. It says it, says it right there. Expires May 13th. But you notice the expiration date's gone from this one? Why is that? And let's not forget, you know, uh, we can do it live. Why not? That uh, was a story for help. Let's do it live. We'll go to my mail. Bam. Mail, mail, mail. And we'll just do the searching. We'll type in YouTube. Okay. So where was it? What, about two weeks ago now? Let's see. There's my content being removed from YouTube. There's a uh, gone, and then we removed your channel. Okay, I do want to show everybody this because a lot of people don't think I got the third strike for this video that, as far as I know, is still up. They put it right back up within an hour when they gave me back my channel. And there it is. You know, and, I, and by the way, a video totally on transhumanism a, in which a, you know I show a couple headlines that I'm going to talk about and I did talk about if you watch it on Rockfin. What, what's the deal? Why do they care? Give me a break. All right. Let's go back to the Chatsky and Hutch for America. Uh, whoa, big jump. Okay. What's going on here? Let's see. Man. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Okay, there's... Dun, 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 dun. All right. So, I I would be surprised if she tried paying guards to beat her up. And, geez, I don't know. We can't say that. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. The fact the correction officers are demanding she tell them how she got the black eye kind of shows she's not on 24-7 surveillance. Yeah. Or, or listen, I mean, if she is on 24-7 surveillance, something like a black eye is not hard to do to yourself if you're, like, in bed or you want to just keep knocking at your eye, even with your knuckle, you can you can bruise or puff up an eye pretty easily, even maybe without, you know, someone seeing it. Who took that? Yeah, it does look like a selfie. Um, it was presented by her lawyer. So again, um, yes, Mueller's buddy guy. That's right. Bill Barr is Mueller's buddy guy. You just go all the way back to the Noriega days, right? Doing a little mopping up. You know, no big deal. They are buddies. You better believe it. Uh, Rockfin doesn't have push notifications. I know it does not, but for people that... I think it has emails for people that actually pay the premium. So um, that's where they're at. Listen, month by month, they're improving. Uh, there'll probably be another meeting coming up in, ne in the next two weeks or so. And I'll be talking to all the guys again. It's not my company, obviously, but I am very happy with what they've done. Look, I'm very happy Odyssey now lets you stream live. I'm very happy they back up my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel could be gone tomorrow. It could absolutely be gone tomorrow, and that's frightening. So, you know, I, I mean, we're working with it. Rockfin has made it, empowered me to be able to do things like move my family to Iowa. You know, have those picnics. And if you haven't seen this yet, if you missed the earlier video today, you know, my sheriff uh, in my county has made this statement. It's in very important to me. Sheriff Tim Lane has said, as the sheriff of Scott County, I've directed my agency not to enforce mask mandates or to serve any business with an enforcement action for not following mask mandates within their establishments. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has had a serious effect on the lives of millions of people, as Americans, we are entitled to choose how we mitigate our own risks. 
The fear and anxiety created by those who demand compliance is inexcusable. Damn Skippy. Damn Skippy, Tim. Damn Skippy. With the Skippy Skip. Uh, let's see. I was thinking the same. Another Slick Willie. I imagine her attorney, family, or uh, correction officers. What's the 9-11 connection? LOL. All right. So you look at Epstein. You look at Maxwell. You look at her father. You look at, obviously, um, the Israeli connections, right? So let's let's take it back well before 9-11. Let's get to Iran-Contra. Khashoggi's in the middle there, one of the arms dealers, right? And when you're talking about Khashoggi and arms dealing and that whole crew of Iran-Contra, the same names keep coming up. Robert Mueller, Bill Barr, Robert Johnson. Do a little Google on who Robert Johnson is. See what I'm saying? So when you look at Epstein, for instance, you have somebody like Maria Farmer going to the NYPD and going through the FBI in 1996. That's still five years before 9-11. Yet we don't find out about that till around 2017, I believe. So what I'm trying to say is you have a network of criminal activities that are largely part of the military-industrial complex, um, intelligence agencies that parade around as private citizens or private businesses, etc., right, fronts, that enable things like that to happen and continue and then give you the plausible deniability later if someone gets caught. Now, Epstein was a big one. And, and, and believe me, the amount they've covered up there is massive. We've seen a tiny speck of what really went on there. What's up on the propaganda? Oh, the, the black eye? Yeah, that's what I think, too. But hey, who knows? It was me. I admitted I took the in and out burger pick, too. <laughs> yeah, that one was Photoshopped. Again, a lot's on the table, guys. But I think at some point, you know, I, like I said, I went out. Remember that last year? I went out to her hideout. Almost a year ago, went out to the hideout with, and with the Jackman boys. Why don't I have the Jackman brothers on more? I need to get the Jackman brothers back on. Thumbs this video up, by the way, guys. Oh, they've trained us to care about what the mainstream media says. Yeah, and the mainstream media doesn't really want to touch this story other than with the utmost of kid gloves. Hey, George Stephanopoulos. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hmm? Hey, chum. Hey, Mr. Clinton, you love those Clintons, don't you there, buddy, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, she looks happy, too. All of this is so weird. Yeah, no shit, Christine. Sure is. Hey, hey, how we doing, Super Seamster Sewing? Oh, looks like we got another Rockfin tip. Oh, thank you very much, Terry James. She says, rock on, Jason. We appreciate that. Uh, or better yet, say she is on 24-7 surveillance and she's still got the black eye. Might indicate a guard did it on his shift or something. Who knows? Dude, like, if a man, no offense, I, I, Jason, you sexist prick. Listen, if a man gave a woman, like, the woman's like 60 years old. If, if a man gives a woman a black eye with, like, uh, it would take a half shot to do triple the damage, in my opinion. That's not what that looks like to me. Okay, but again, I'm speculating. That's I don't want to get uh, caught up with some medical misinformation for <laughs> analyzing the black eye of Ghislaine Maxwell. <laughs> that's what's next. You're done. Med I mean, that's what they gave me on that one video. It was medical misinformation. It's literally, literally what they said. And they said it was. Uh, I could no longer. Uh, they no longer allowed uh, content that explicitly disputes the efficacy of local health authorities or the World Health Organization guidance on social distancing and self-isolation that would lead people to act out against that guidance. I can't tell you to go outside and have a picnic, maybe. But you can go have a picnic on your own if you want. 2021's wild, man. Wild sauce. Talk about a system of failure. Talk about a system of failure. Let's see. 
Um, they stuff your head with so so much room for real information. It's also true. It's tough. It's tough. Um, nice to see ya. What up, Gritch? Uh, that's some John of God crap. If I yeah, the baby farms. Yeah, awesome. You got to clone baby farms. Super racist. Eugenics. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, but they raided Rudy. Listen, I'm not even a Rudy Giuliani fan. But Giuliani's claiming they didn't even take the Hunter Biden uh, laptop uh, hard drives on purpose. That's e- that's uh, that's even more damning. Uh, that's the cartoon world we're living in. I know people who went to JOG. I don't know what that means. What's JOG? Um, hello there. How we all doing? People. Okay. Epstein was cloning himself the good old-fashioned way. Oh, boy. We got jokes. Guys, if you do enjoy the content, $5, $10, $15 uh, does mean the world to me. But, um, yeah, I I haven't pushed. um, I'm I'm trying to get my Stripe account in, and then I can do the go-get fundings, and I have this thing called Locals that I'm working on. I signed up. Uh, I haven't put enough on there, again, because of the problems with Stripe. But um, I think that's going to be the next way. You know, I haven't been hitting the donations as hard, um, recently, but everything is appreciated. And I promise you, um, you know, we are still trying to grow. I am still trying to find an office a hundred percent. And maybe when that happens, we're going to have some other avenues. And, uh, we actually, the server has been built for, uh, this group. And I was talking with the people that specifically, uh, built the server and they're pretty impressed with my following and content. And, uh, we're going to have a discussion about maybe even a Jason Burmis website. Hmm? How about that? Directly where you can get my content no matter what. What do you think? What do you think, everybody? Um, I wonder how many he made. If you're jonesing for some Jones. Uh, it's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego with Ghislaine? Um, with an in and out burger photo, the arrest in New Hampshire estate, and now the weird black eye photo. Um, there are a bunch of fertility doctors doing the same thing using their sample instead of the desired donor. Yeah, that's true. That's if, if, if it's just people coming in, right? But you gotta, you gotta wonder again with these women that necessarily may not, you know, be looked for or don't have families or, you know, are taken from the street. What are they putting in? I'm just saying it could get dark. I think it's, uh, we, uh, we've seen a smidgling and when you're in the desert, man, when you're in Nevada, you know, Nevada's got some pretty cool underground bases people don't like to talk about. They like to make it about aliens and weird stuff. When the weird stuff's done by human beings. <laughs> uh, let's see. It does programming for your human computer. Thanks, Gritch. Gets you too. The rabbit hole is deep. And we may never know if Epstein's clone was making babies at Zora Ranch. Hey, it's 2021, and everything is odd. Yep. Q is such a sexy letter. You know what it sucks? Like, every, like, classic rock station I listen to <laughs> over the years, like, right now, it's, like, Q1065. Yeah, Q, I have to hear it all the time. I it never, it was never an annoyance to me. And now, again, like, they've ruined a letter of the alphabet for Jason Burmis. Why? 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 Epstein got a little egg shaped penis baby running around. Probably many. Um, mRNA is a platform for genetic programming, reprogramming, remapping. What can you disclose uh, concerning the no constitution zone around America? Who, why, and created? Um, are, are we talking about, um, man, uh, I kind of think I do know, know what you're talking about this. When you're on the border of the country, and uh, like Mexico or I think even Canada, there's a certain area where some of your rights are supposedly um, not valid. And man, there was a preacher, he's still around, um, who, you know, would not get out of the car and they end up breaking the window and, you know, macing them and all this other stuff because of that. That's about all I can even comment on that because it's so hazy and it's been so long since I looked into that type of constitutional law. Um, Let's see. Mr. Gritch, the letter R is offended. Skip the line with your questions. Donate over the Rockfin and leave 
your cue for JB. re akara reset It's all Babylon to me, baby. R is a handsome lad. No need to be jealous. Jan, how are we? How in the world can you afford ribeye? I admit they're delicious, but expensive. Jan. So, again, 106.5 out in the Quad Cities, and I actually went and checked it out today to see it was real. A place called the North Park Mall. And I'm not kidding you. They're selling 20 ribeyes for $35. Let me repeat that. 20 ribeyes. <laughs> For $35. That's less than $2 a ribeye. Now, even if those ribeyes are four or five ounces, that's a hell, hell, hell of a deal. So let's say I go over there and I say, well, wow, two, 20 for 35. Well, what if I got 100 of them? Even at 35, five times um, that is only 150 times five, 175 bucks. Hell of a deal if he doesn't even want to cut me anything. It would also be cool if I could pay him in advance and then not have to stack the meat and have them come and drop the meat off to me on uh, Sunday, Mother's Day. or And maybe I could even get pre-made burgers. Maybe I could do half my shopping with them, which is a local business, out of a truck, which is obviously a farm. So, it, yeah, it's not inside the mall. It's literally outside, and uh, I'm pushing it. It's pretty. It's, I remember when I was driving through last summer and I heard that deal the 20 ribeyes for like 35 I couldn't even believe it was real we're going to find out how real it is this Mother's Day uh, LOL let's not get Jason have you heard about the Pfizer uh, occupational yes yes. Uh, my thoughts cannot be discussed here on YouTube that's what how about that I wish I could discuss them but let, let's just say this um, I was concerned before <laughs> any of this and shedding is a real thing. Uh, handsome is temporary. You're right. Dashing is forever. That's not true. Assholery is forever. Ass clownery is forever. Um, why he is uh, the only capital letter in Gritch? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, such is the deep fear of the pretty. Oh, yeah, that's true. It does suck getting old. I'm more, it's more my movement, man. And just, I don't know. I, the whole thing sucks. But, you know, it's life. It's better than transhumanism, right? You, you can hold on to the belief that somehow your consciousness is going to be uploaded into a virtual world, but sounds like it's just an AI copy and not you to me. So that's how I feel about it. Three different passports. Hello from the London, UK. Uh, LOL. That was actually kind of endearing, JB. Was it? <laughs> you pulled it off, did I? <laughs> that was the broken Jason Burmis. Yeah. Uh, that's just some of our alleged shady players. What do other countries and regions have going on? Plenty. Look at, like, Claude Hadid. I didn't even bring him up. Obviously, I didn't even say Lex Les Wexner's name. But for those that follow me know that, you know, some people have named him as the head of the snake. Barr is laughing like he did when Epstein died, or like he did in that interview where he said that he would make sure that Ghislaine Maxwell wouldn't die. Right? Uh, hi from Belgrade, Serbia. What up? Uh, hello, Jason from Merritt Island, Florida. Hello. How we doing? Hey, JB from Texas. Yikes. Yikes with that, brah. Yikes with that. Hey, God bless you and Godspeed. Um, but guess what? We don't believe in fantasies here. We try not to buy into mental illness here. Uh, 100%. Uh, I want to come so badly, wow, but I'm not that close. Listen, I love Iowa. And I listen, I, I'm encouraging people, especially you know if, if you're in an area that's still going to be super locked down and, and you can somehow do it, take a trip for a week or two. You know, Spend a little time with a fam or a friend in a car. Uh, and come check out the Midwest or come check out one of these states that's that's pushing back. Come to a community that cares. But it's heartbreaking. You know, like I said, right over the, the bridge here, um, you know, that place should have been packed I was at last night. Should have been packed. And good, you know, good food, good vibe, good bar. And it's like no one's there. Wow. Um, I would definitely go for a veggie kebab. Kebab. 
Kebabins. Uh, me too, Eva. I know. I'd love all you guys to be able to come out. Come one, come all, and get your super uh, super tips, I guess. They're, they're tips over there. Tip of the hat, neighbor. Tip of the hat. But really, just make that free Rockfin account bare minimum. It's a great way to support. Um, that would be awesome if I weren't uh, trapped in commie Canada. Imagine that. Uh, let's see. You rock. Is this AMA? Yes. Because I want to ask why you don't notice uh, those inbreeds like people getting ba- black eyes when they get the ep- EpiPen instead of real adrenochrome. Well, because that's fantasy land. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people in uh, the Predator class and their minions that are into the occult. There are. I'm not saying that some of the child abuse that has been exposed doesn't have a dark and satanic edge. It does. (laughs) I'm not even saying that adrenochrome holy is not a thing at all. Those are not things that I'm saying. What I am going to tell you is that when you talk about the bloodletting rituals of children, obviously there is a lot of historical meaning from it. But really, when you get to the Crowley incantation of the most powerful form of magic, as he was um, supposedly possessed by a deity, being the... uh, rape of a young virgin boy and at climax slitting his throat, taking the blood and then doing that. The most powerful form of sex magic and you know the man was obsessed with sex magic. But but again you'd have to also believe that that wasn't coming out of his own mind and somehow com- coming from some uh, demon that he embodied himself with. Doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Sounds like some dark terrible shit. Okay, Um, but like you have absolutely zero, zero evidence for that statement that somehow the somehow any of the people you've seen with a black eye have taken part in a ritual as such. I just described that's number one. That's number one, let alone to compare it to someone that took part in some kind of, um, you know, just taking the 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 uh, the adrenochrome. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. We live in reality here. Uh, we never stop getting together in Alabama. That's some good news, Jan. That's some good news. You should be streaming that on Mother's Day. Get a big party to get together. Can you look into Pfizer occupational exposure, specifically starting on page 667? Is this real? Um, again, I can't talk about it here. <laughs> I can't. We might do a Rockfin video on it for sure. Um, uh, they probably did the old Dirty Sanchez on him, her, er, I mean her. Yikes. It's a crime. A legit photo of her whole face hasn't been published yet. Uh, we are running a gravy train with biscuit wheels, and Biden is sniffing the caboose. LMAO. We got jokes, Gritch. I like that. I appreciate that. Telejustice and telepolitics. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Uh, CA happening now in Canada. Bill C-10 proposes to subject whole realms of the Canadian online world to content oversight from broadcast regulators, including podcasts, online videos, and websites. Yes. And, you know, I, I, uh, I haven't really been talking about Canada recently, but it is scary. The military is now back in uh, some of the major provinces under the guise of upticks in hospitalization and them helping there. The restrictions, although, you know, Ford wasn't able to get his super hard on wet dream of total and complete uh, control of movement are still locking down tighter than ever. And uh, Justin Trudeau, in my opinion, is a despicable human being. If you want to build back better, you need to do it without Trudeau and his cronies. Periodo. And again, he's just a puppet of the Predator class. Mid-level minion. I can see the pain in her eyes. Jail is brutal for the princess. One can only hope that it's not the best of times. 
um, you know, for a serial child abuser and probably much worse. You'd, you'd hope, but I don't know one way or the other. That's why we're doing the video. Oh, haha, Grich. We homeschooled. I signed up for Rockfin with your help. Thank you, Jan. You rock. You rock. And again, that's why we're able to do like the extensions on the uh, video. So wait a minute, you are on the premium there, Jan, and you're not getting notifications. So they may just be emails. Uh, I would check your spam or, you know, maybe the notifications just aren't there yet. But, um, you know, th that's one of the next things I think we got to talk to them about. Um, you know, they're, they're going hard, but they don't have, they only have the iPhone app, right? They still don't have the um, Android app and you would need an app for that type of notification. YouTube uh, hasn't, oh, let's see. Oh, oh man, that's a big one. I don't know if we're going to end up answering all these. Thumbs it up, subscribe, and share. Make sure you do all that. Wow, there's a lot of people here. A lot of people came in. Whoa. Okay, man, that's a lot. Um... Jeez, this one's a bit, wow, how, we started getting, there we go, a little nutty, a little nutty. Okay, so there we go. Um, YouTube hasn't sent me a notification for Burmis in almost a year. YouTube sucks the bottom. Yeah, I think she was talking about Rockfin notifications. LMAO, if we make it. So YouTube is a company that hates their customers. YouTube is not a company. YouTube is part of the military industrial complex. YouTube is a technopoly erected and empowered by intelligence organizations. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, only after the first largest search engine, Google. Google happens to be a part of Alphabet, which they are both a part of. Google also works with NASA in quantum computing and intelligence. It also happens to own Android, the largest operating system in the world. It also happens to own Chrome, the largest browser out there. It's called a technopoly. It works hand in hand with the government, gives them all the information, and it parades as though it is a private company. It is not! Elvis Oswald has been watching you since the InfoWars days. Keep it real, brother Elvis. Thank you. Thank you. We're keeping it real. John Cooper, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate that. You guys rock. Let's continue on. Uh, can I post a link? Uh, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. You're, I, I can't talk about it here. This is YouTube. <laughs> I, uh, how many times do I have to explain to you? We can't talk about that here. We have to say boop, boop. Okay? I wish I could talk about it here. I can't even read headlines of mainstream articles without thinking maybe I, I might get kicked off. We've been here 14 years. We started at the bottom. Now we're here. We're trying. We got to reach the people with the cat videos. I'm doing shoulders in my gym, thinking I'm military pressing the military industrial complex. Uh-oh, True World, the real gun show. Oh, that's weak. Look at that. That is not good. Is that my right arm that's showing up to? God, my left arm's even more pathetic. We need to get back in the mix. No no excuses, just results. Uh, yep, it could get out of hand in the future. Automated production and delivery, impersonations, manufactured news data. Yes, I don't know if it will go there, but it seemingly could. We're already three quarters of the way there. That is where it is going. Jan, I believe there is an option in settings to receive email notifications. Yes, there might be. We're all forked. Yes, Pastor Arturo Pulaski has been issued a warrant for his arrest because he dared to stop uh, some Gestapo thugs from illegally entering his church twice. They came back the second time. Uh, last Easter weekend, the Mafia's enforcement arm arrived. Yes, we actually covered the first time. It is disgusting. That man is a hero. How dare they? How dare they? they he knows what they are. Brown shirts. Gestapo. That's what they are. Uh, let's see. Be water, my friend. I made accounts with Rockfin, Rumble, and Odyssey, but so far Odyssey is the only one that sends me notifications. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure there's something in there. For the most part, 
Twatter is the best way to get notifications for Burmese. If you have a Twitter account, that is, yes, that's true. So, like, everything I do um, and everything I talk about usually is somehow incorporated, at least video-wise, in my Twitter feed. Some of the stories don't make it, but a lot of the stuff that I don't cover also makes it into the Twitter feed. Um, if you get notifications on Twitter, there are usually hyperlinks, at least to the Rockfin, uh, a good 10, 15 minutes before I go live. And then they're always there. And then on top of that, um, you know, one of the things that hasn't censored us but I don't promote is Periscope because the interface kind of sucks there. And although we want to be there and I want the opportunity for, for people to find me there as well, it, it's just such a rigged and game system for Twitter. You know, I it took me forever to get to 25,000 uh, followers and then 2,000 of them were just gone overnight, you know. So, yeah. Uh, vague terms of service legalized. They don't need a reason. That's right. Rumble sends email notifications that show up like the day after I watch the video, but it does have a Roku app. They're working on a Roku app for this right now. Uh, Living Waters. Uh, I like that. They've cut off my email because of lack of cloud space, and I don't remember my password, so I can't fix it. Weird. Uh, I think you have to go into settings to turn the email notifications. I could be wrong. Burn the witch! I am the water. You ain't damning this flow. Shadow Band accounts as best wishes to all here. Thank you. Cosmic debris, one black eye, is just a symbol of Masonic Satanism. Oh, we've already talked about that, Cosmic. You know why? They don't like the truth. But is it 24-7 video surveillance? Yes. Wonder. Okay. Mr. Cox. Isn't the black eye? Oh, boy, here we go. Again, guys, sometimes a black eye is just a black eye. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a black eye is Photoshop. True world, you're jacktacular. I'm sure you maybe got into a scrap tapple here or there. Maybe you've had a black eye once or twice. Ah, yes, the Robert Johnson days. Good old Mina, Arkansas, eh, Robert? Little Bill Barr? Little Not Your Hero? Not gonna save you? <laughs> Warned you. How many videos did I do on Bill Barr and the cover up crew? Man. People who are in high speed impact tend, uh, tend to end up with bruised eyes, but it's bilateral. That's true. I'm talking about car accidents. You do pay the premium, so maybe it is in the settings. I, again, I, I'll ask around. Jason, thanks for the free videos. Your past collab dudes are all doing pay-to-watch stuff uh, like Luke. I love Luke, man. He's got to do his thing. I try to get him over to the rock fin, but, I, you know, if it's working for him, it's working for him. I, I could only do the all-free stuff over there with the help of the paid subscribers. And like I said, man, uh, for the paid subscribers out there, you're getting some throwbacks. You're getting some extra stuff. Um, and we do eventually make all the videos uh, premium in the archives, right? So, you know, this is actually a video... Uh, throwback of the Info Warrior where I talk about the triple shot uh, I talk about the swine flu the media landscape is so much different over a decade ago um, but you can watch like 8 minute, minutes of it here, over 2 hours of it here and then we have the throwback 9-11-08 where Alex Jones interviews me from ground zero and there's so much more great stuff there um, really a window into the future if you listen to those broadcasts from so many years ago you know, I, I, I'm an old man. Been doing this a long time. Long time firmness. Let's keep going. Um, sir, your country has a virus. You need the latest antivirus booster, 13.42. Your booster, 13.41, is outdated and puts the risk of losing Im immunity. Sir, you will not be able to travel without your injection today. <coughs> uh, Terry B, there you go <coughs> for the premium accounts only. So it is in the premium account. Okay. I am looking forward to Rockfin and Rumble getting push notifications. When they do, I will certainly be watching there more. Gotcha. Like that video. That's right. Can we get 250 likes? Can we do it? Can we do it? Um, yeah, listen, I, hey, it's fine. Uh, guys, again, share the links. That also helps. Make the free Rockfin account. Make the free Rockfin account. Make the free Rockfin account because who knows how much longer I'm going to be on YouTube. Guys, with that being said, I do want to thank Odyssey.
for backing my entire channel up. Um, you know, we're close to a thousand followers, still haven't broken that yet. Love to get there, but it's Rockfin, Rockfin, Rockfin. And remember, if you're over here, go right over to this little playlist section, scroll down, and yeah, documentaries. I'm a documentary filmmaker. They're all free. Loose Change Final Cut, Fable Enemies, Invisible Empire, and New World Order Defined, and Shade the Motion Picture are free right here, right now. Check them out. I love you guys. And thank you for joining me on this Friday evening. Ask me anything. I hope the rest of your night is bang tangin' and not some kind of Ghislaine Maxwell nightmare. We can only hope. Because we don't know. We don't know, guys. I wish I was more confident that justice would be served, but we've been served with insanity here in this country and around the world regarding that case.